Hello again, guys and girls, the Gizwall community. Welcome back to another Gizwall 3 gameplay commentary. Today, I am absolutely over the moon to bring you guys some brand new gameplay, something that you haven't seen for so long because over the past few months, my PBR has been broken. But now I have a brand new one and I'm ready to bring you guys new, diverse, and just unique content so you don't have to sit there and listen to the same commentaries or watch the same gameplays at least over and over again. And this is a major thing for me because uh, although I love doing my commentaries, it is the meat of my channel. I would really prefer to be able to bring you guys something a little bit new and a little bit diverse and unique rather than just doing the same thing over and over and over again because it can get tedious. Even for me, even for you, it just gets tedious for everyone. So what do I want to bring you? Well, I want to bring you guys um, scrim gameplays. I want to bring you guys maybe montages. Obviously, new gameplays for my commentaries and many, many more things. I mean, um, I could be doing, well, definitely for Judgment, I'll definitely be doing some some tutorials for you guys to bring you, well, assuming the game's good, bring you guys some tutorials to make sure that you guys are as good as possible because I love to help out people. It's one of my pet loves that I... I love the feeling I get from knowing that someone's a little bit better off because of something I've done. But yeah, guys, um, that's just pretty much what I'm going to be bringing you guys in the near future. As for this commentary, um, I'm not going to talk about this forever, so I may as well get into it. I want to talk about a true skill system, and I've talked about this a few times before, and what I've said about it is basically why we should have it. I've never really said what should we do to make a true skill system. So just to reiterate why we should have a true skill system. Basically, as you've seen in Gears War 3, Epic have introduced lots of different ways of making the game easier or more accessible for new players so they can get into the game and they can enjoy it. Now, I understand this and I think that the game should be easy as possible for new players. I don't think that you should dumb down the game to do so, and this is where true skill comes in. Basically, you make a good true skill system, and no noob player has to play against anybody who's amazing at the game. No player has to come up against someone who's a great deal better than them, uh, a great deal better than them, or a great deal worse than them. And this just basically balances out the game, so you're always playing against someone of your level. So. How should we go about this? Well, personally, this is what I've been thinking over for the last few nights. I mean, that's when I tend to get my thinking cap on. I sit in my bed at night and I can't always get to sleep best. So this is when I really um, get my ideas for commentaries when I'm in bed and just trying to wait to get to sleep, really. But so how should we go about this? So I think that the best way to go about this is something quite similar to League of Legends. Now, I have been playing League of Legends lately. That's the reason why I haven't really been bringing you uh, content, even though I've had a new PVR for like a week. But the idea that I have is quite similar to what they have at League of Legends, or as much as I understand. I only understand a little bit of what ELO represents. I haven't even got any ELO yet, because I'm fairly sure you have to play ranked matches to be able to get ELO, but that is their true skill system. So, how does it work? Well, the one that I would um, integrate into the game would be a true skill system that is based off of numbers, and you'd just be given a ranking, a number ranking, on how good you are now it could be you know a thousand to five thousand it could be one to fifty it could be one to ten it doesn't matter but the point is it represents everything or it represents every match you've played rather than simply putting it on your KD and win loss now why not just do it on your KD and win loss well the reason behind this is if you do it if your KD and win loss a month down the line it's it, it might still work but three, four, five, six months down the line, plus that, it just it doesn't work because once you get really far down the line into your game, it just stops working because you cannot shift your KD or win loss because you've played so many games, you've played so many matches, you've killed so many people, you've died so many times that it just takes thousands and thousands of kills, hundreds of hours just to put your KD and win loss up by 0.1% and this is one major problem so the way I would do it 
is I would base it off each and every match you play. So each match you play, it adds a little bit extra, it takes a little bit away based on your performance in that match. So if you do really well in a match, you would get, um, you would get basically given a little bit extra to that. So it might go from four to four point one, and that wouldn't be, sh that wouldn't actually show up. But it would add a tiny bit extra and then, you know, you play 10 matches and you go from 4 to 5. And that's how it would work. It wouldn't just be simplistic off the bat. Here's your KD, here's your win-loss, here's your um, true skill ranking. So, also, I would try and make it as fair as possible because a lot of people go into ranked matches and they find themselves alone up against a five-man team where you've got parties of one in your game and it's just, like, it's really unfair. So, I would hopefully, if I could, try to implement some way of balancing that out so you lose less if you came up against a five-stack or you win more if you beat them. And you would obviously, if it just if it was a close match, you wouldn't really lose or win anything. But it all depends on the situation. So if your team plays really bad and that causes you to lose, and you're the best player on the team, it would still give you extra for doing really well. So it, it's fairly complicated in a way, and it would take a lot of work to build this. But, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like this. A simpler system of that where you just base it off of your KD and win-loss in every match. Not just overall, but at the end of the match, what's your KD? Oh, you did well. You know, what's your support points like? You did well. Here's some extra. But that's my basic idea of what I should, or what I would integrate a true skill system into. So... Uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section, guys. But if you enjoyed, leave me a like. And if you really enjoyed, leave me a subscribe. But for now, guys, thank you for watching, and goodbye.